Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editorix. Today I want to share with you a project or project that I'm working on. Uh, basically, this is my uh, my my personal website, and the idea was to collect all my YouTube tutorials and display it on my own website. Um, but this is not enough. I want to give you uh, the people who watch my tutorial um, maybe a better experience or more capabilities that can help you use the tutorials that I'm doing um, so this is um, really the start of, of of the idea of what I want to do uh, I show you two pages today that I've, I've been working on and I really want to know what you think about it and maybe if you have some good ideas uh, that I can implement uh, in this website so I'll show you what's going on and let me know what you think so this is kind of uh, a home page it's displayed the newest video that released um, and of course this is part of i didn't upload all my videos yet, yet but this is represent my own videos and the main idea is that i will give each video a category subcategory and the features that i'm used in this video so you can better find more tutorials by topics and not but um, you know, by um, specific search or something like this um, so each video it's sorry each feature represent by color this is why you see different colors to the uh, to the cards and you have a toggle here you can like uh, disable the colors or to watch it, to, to see in the, to see it again um, so each card uh, display the name of the video and as you can see here at, at the bottom you can see which um, uh, features that are used in these videos and this is important for many of you is if this uh, tutorial include using Velo or not because some because some of you don't uh, really want to uh, don't know how to handle Velo and don't want to use this uh, tutorial so this is important um, all right so let's see the video page so I click on the title and go to a dynamic page you all know the, this term um, so this is represent a single video tutorial so of course uh, here we have the video itself at the, at the top we have the breadcrumbs uh, it's this is the home page like tutorials page this is the main category this is the main category this is the main feature and this is the tutorial name and of course you can see here in this side um, the categories that include in this video so again each cut each feature displayed uh, represent with specific color um, by the way if you click on this feature you will go to a dedicated page that repris that show uh, more videos about this topic this uh, feature um, all right and of course based on on the features you have more suggestions of tutorials so this is like for items uh, uh, related to the Velo and there is e-commerce and this is here the part of um, the part of the information about the video itself all right so this is the about about the video of course the title and you can rate this video if it was uh, if it was clear or not clear or whatever so let's try to see if it's actually working so let's rate it like four stars yeah, four stars and then it should be updated to be one here and it's working all right so one rating um at the bottom you will find uh i will i will talk about this part but it's more videos from 
right now it's i love editor x and we we have four of them and subscribe button and i will go to it later but um the cool the the most cool thing that i want to show you is this part is the bookmarks so the idea is that sometimes you know that i have like very long videos and sometimes you want to add comments uh, of course if it's uh, something complicated or i don't know so the cool the cool thing is that you can add uh, comments on, on the timeline of the video so here this is a note for example so when you create your own node this is what you what the note will looks like blah 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 i will show you how it works so basically um assuming that i watch a video and in specific part in right here i want to add some comment all right so i will go to this button and create new bo bookmarks and then i let's say something um this is my first uh note all right let's skip it this way of course we can uh, it's it's rich con it's rich uh rich text element so you can um put some list link uh i don't know whatever you need so if i click submit note so basically it save it on under my account uh, my profile and then here you will see this is my note this is my first note and the cool thing is if i for example go to the beginning like like two i don't know like i, I come back uh, later to this video so basically i can click on this uh time and it to skip um to, to the specific part when you leave your note um let's create another one i copy this text for example and we have now we have two and of course we can edit this one so let's copy another text i can edit it i hope it will work so this is my old value and this is my new value and let's make a list of it so this one is two is three submit note all right it should be update amazing all right uh and of course i can delete it okay so it's take about two seconds or something like this and delete it and another cool thing that you can do is you have this code tab so now each time i create a tutorial that includes uh, velo you will see this tab uh the code tab and you can easily copy it to your clipboard and then paste it in your uh, in your website uh, this is too much code all right so um, what else oh, of course there is um, a public this is the bookmark is 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 private only you can see it uh, no one else uh, but here we have the public um, comments and of course uh, for these comments, you can also add public comment uh, that every, everyone can see on the timeline. Okay, so when this uh, when you want to create a new comment, you have this toggle, you see, and it says include time timestamp or not. Okay, actually this is not the right time. I don't know why. Let's try it again. Yeah, this is right number so let's add new comment uh let's submit it and i include the timestamp of course and so this means if you have a question or something uh so you can leave comments on specific time and then it it is um 
more easy to understand the context of the question. So again, if I um, go to your comment and click on the time, I can skip to the right part in the video. And of course you can sort the comments. Here you can add new comment. Um, and oh, you can expand this window. And what else? I think that's it. I have plans to create more more pages, categories pages, feature pages, search, uh, notifications. If you have um, uh, someone replies to you, uh, I don't know. The replies is also work, but I'm not sure I want to show it right now. Um, right, so I think that's it basically. So I have an idea of this. Oh, I wanted to talk about this part. So it says here more, more, uh, more from I love editorics. And of course, this is my website and there is only my videos. So here is the thought I had. So basically I wanted to talk with others, uh, with other, um, content creator that create content and, and tutorials about editor X and allow them to upload their own content here to this website. So, so what will happen is that this website will host so many pure editor X content. So you can really find here everything you need, um, uh, about editor X and what you need to learn from it. Um, so yeah, this is something that I have been thought about it and, and actually I already start to build a system to allow other people to create their own account and upload their own content and whatever. So let me think, let me know what you think. And if this is something that will help you. And of course, if you have uh, ideas of something that I can implement in, in general, in general, in, in the site or in specific, uh, uh, maybe some feature that you, you, you thought it would be really good. So let me know and I'll try, I will think about it.